Welcome to Stick Shift Studios. Today we'll be reviewing the Lewis Galoob Toys Micro Machines 1991 Super Van City playset. And this is a quite a rare playset today. Uh, it was extremely, extremely popular when it was new. And I'm the original owner of this playset. So it has a, a little bit of wear and tear, and I will go through its many, many features. Next stop, Super Van City. One, two, three, four. You can get into town. Super Van City. Just hold it on down. Micro machines taking over the place with real racing dragsters ready to race. Working bridges in an airport too. The Micro Machine, Super Van City. You put it together, fold it up, take it away. Vehicle collection sold separately. A custom van from the 90s. It's white in color and has this very cool graphic on the side that is yellow, orange, kind of a fluorescent red and gray. And what makes this playset unique is it folds out, which is very cool. So there's two tabs right here. And if you press these tabs and push this open, the top of the lid opens. And then you just fold it out. Fold out the sides. Fold this down. Super Van City is uh, incredibly awesome because it folds out in this amazing playset and you can take it wherever you go, which is very, very cool. And I'll go over its uh, many features. So this is the first part of the playset. And this is just this little side piece here and it has Al's service. Looks like the Pontiac GTO's coming in for service. Just gonna park in the garage. Um, interestingly, the garage is not deep enough to actually hold a car very well um, and close this door at the same time. So maybe he's getting gas and uh, so the door closes. And it features Jake's car wash. Load the GTO up, go through the car wash. And now there's burgers and dogs over here, parking area. Very nice. So this was probably by far my favorite feature of the Micro Machines Superman City. And that is uh, this amazing workable drag strip. Race on the Micro Machines drag strip with working vehicle launcher. I mean, how awesome is that? So we'll have a little showdown between the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro convertible and the 1965 Chevrolet Corvette Coupe C2. So to activate this, pull back the launcher, drive the cars up. Situate them perfectly. And as you can see, there's a little Christmas tree up here. Place your bets, boys. One, two, three, go. Now, as you can see, there's one slight flaw in this design. Uh, the latch here for the playset interferes with this lane. So this car is obviously gonna fly off the side, but 
still very cool. Um, let's give it a little more go. Wow, and it looks like the Camaro is the winner. And the crowd goes wild. He drives back into the pit garage. And the C2 goes right over here. So that's pretty awesome. There's also a police station here. That features electronic police sounds. Apparently there's supposed to be a red button, but I don't think mine ever had it. But there's a police station there, so that's pretty cool. Up the hill. Stopping at the drawbridge. Working drawbridge. Goes across the bridge. So this place that also has some waterways, so we've got one of our boats in here. Boats coming into dock. It's coming up the hill. Going through the bank. It's going out to lookout point. Next up, we're at the Micro Machines Salvage Yard. Park in the spot. And it looks like it's gonna pick up this car for salvage. It's got the car. It's going around. Drop it off at the salvage yard and into the crusher. Now we're off at the airport. Looks like, uh, according to the side of the sticker here, it's looks like the C2 driver is gonna go off to Tahiti. Jet lands in, and there's also tunnel underneath this rock embankment here, which is pretty cool. It's quite a big area back there actually. That's pretty nice. And there's a nice uh, parking spot here. Now some of these drop-offs are quite huge, but it seems to work. I hoped you enjoyed this review. I would like to point out that, you know, this set is not in mint condition. I did play with this for many years, so it's not in the best of shape and um, I think all the pieces are here, but there may be a piece or two missing, possibly. But I hope you enjoyed this overview, and this is the start of a new series. Uh, I'll be going over and reviewing my Micro Machines collection. So if you're a big Micro Machines fan and there's any sets you would like to see reviewed, please let me know. Um, I may have them. So thank you for watching this episode of Stick Shift Studios. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a happy new year. Please share my channel with your friends.